blessings to you. Saints, I just want to say this to you. Like, uh, you want to really be sincere in how you um, you operate in your, your mentality towards the Lord daily. Remember, the word of God said, Jesus said, if you pitch your hand to the plow and you look back, you're not fit for the kingdom. I was reading a story to Zendaya, Glory Holmes, one, one day. The story was when the Bible said that the man said, let me bury my family. And Jesus said, no, let the dead bury their own dead. Then we see the story with Elijah. When Elijah saw Elisha look back and said, let me go kiss my mother and father. He said, what did I do unto you to offend you, to, for the, you to do like this, for you to react like this? It shows you there's an urgency to the calling. When you have a calling from the Lord, handle it with the right spirit because the Lord is watching you. There is a judgment to everybody's calling. If you deal with it sluggishly, uh, disrespectfully, you don't care about it, you don't put no work into it, exert no energy into it, invest mentally to keep yourself involved, excited about it. That will come underneath judgment. That happens to everybody. Aaron came underneath judgment. Jonah came underneath judgment. He was swallowed up by a well. Elijah came underneath judgment. Moses came underneath judgment. Everybody will come underneath judgment on how they handle their calling. So when you're handling your calling, Ephesians chapter 4 declares, I think that was Apostle Paul in Ephesians 4 said, receive the calling of God with all gentleness, lowliness, and humility. So, you want to make sure that um, you, you do that same reaction when you have your calling. Deal with your calling in all humility and lowliness. And do not take it for granted the fact that the Lord is giving you a chance to be a part of a mighty work that he wants to do through you, from you, in you. Let him do the work. Volunteer yourself. Do you know that some people get told by a doctor that they need surgery? And then there's other people that actually go to a surgeon. Be the one to go to the surgeon. Don't be the one that need the doctor to tell you that you need surgery. Be the one that goes to the doctor and say, hey, I'm coming for the surgery.